I don't care how open you get. I don't care who sets you a screen. I don't care who run the reps. If you don't got your shot timing down, I hope you airball that shit. What's going on everybody? I want to welcome you guys to today's video. So I've been arguing with numerous people over Twitter about Mike Wang and his series of tweets about shooting at NBA 2K19. So from what I understand, Mike Wang already stated that contested shots won't green also, they're not guaranteed misses, but they won't fall as much as they did in NBA 2K18. So what I'm here to argue about is the openness versus contested or the good timing versus bad timing argument. Now, I put out a series of tweets letting people understand that in the NBA, some people don't always hit shots and some people can make miraculous shots. Some people can hit contested shots. But what a lot of people were doing was attacking me saying that I'm a noob or I'm not good at the game. I should be able to get open. Why should I get bailed out for taking bad shots? And I'm thinking to myself, like, when have I taken that many bad shots? I don't remember taking bad shots without knowing, all right, this is a bad shot, but I'm not acting like I'm going to get bailed out. Heck no. If I take a bad shot and I know I'm supposed to miss it, I'd be like, yo, it's off. Simple. It's off. You know what I'm saying? Now, from my point of view, I'm a playmaking shot creator. So I know anything from beyond the arc is a prayer for me. And other people can contest to this if you're not using continuous snatchbacks and using pick and roll maestro as your badge to help you out. Now, other people like pure sharps or shot creating sharpshooters or playmaking sharpshooters or any type of sharpshooter with any type of badges that help them beyond the arc. That may be a different story for them. But from my point of view, I don't think that I'm going to get bailed out because I took a bad shot. A bad shot in some people's eyes may not be a bad shot to others. Now, let's talk about it. This is the great debate. This is why I'm here. This is why I have a YouTube channel. So check it out. If a person catches the ball, right, they're at the top of the three-point line. I'm talking about all they got to do is just pull it straight away. And a defender happens to be at the foul line. So by the time that they capture the ball in their hands and they start going up for their shot and the defender starts running at them, if they're at the top of the arc of their shot, but the defender just puts his hand up in that auto animation that everybody has equipped because everybody is honestly is trash at defense. They say, oh, that was a contested. How did he green that? Really? You want to know how a person greened a shot that you weren't even there for, that you came up late to, and want to ask, how did he green it? How did he hit it? It makes me so mad that people really think that they're playing great defense by having auto contest on and running up at the last second, putting a hand in somebody's face. That's not defense. That's not clamps. If, th if that's clamps in your definition book, the one that you wrote out on your own because you don't know the real definition, you're tripping. You're double scoop trash. I'm talking about when, when they ask you, what you want? One scoop, two scoop. You double scoop trash. What are you talking about? Listen, oh my God, it makes me so mad because I'm literally sitting here by myself in my office talking to you, a camera but I'm really talking to people that I can't stand right now because they talk about I clamped you, but you weren't even there for the shot. Now, granted, there are players that are able to stick with other people one-on-one, -on -one, stay in front of their man all the time, and have badges that help them with defense, with contesting, with being able to stay in front of their man. Now, I have a lot of people that I play 2K with, and people can attest to this. I play with people like Reese's. I play people with Astro, I Rage, all different types of guard sets, and they understand what I go through because when they try to guard people that I'm guarding, vice versa, it's hard to clamp them. So let's talk about statistics. Yeah, everybody wants to talk about statistics, right? So when I made my playmaking shot creator, right, everybody was like, yo, how you going to stick defense? People going to be blowing by you. You about to get cooked. You about to get baked. But lo and behold, people didn't know. My lateral quickness was off the charts. I had bronze defensive stopper badge. A badge that a lot of builds don't have. So when I was running up to pure sharpshooters, contesting their shots, and they weren't hitting, people was like, yo, he was supposed to hit that. He was. Allegedly. But not when I'm clamping. 
Now, granted, some players do get off. It, it, it just happens in this game. Some players are able to create space by, you know, right, left, and or catching the screen, running raps. You know what I'm saying? Running back door. It happens. But if I'm if you got the ball in your hands and you think you're about to bake me and shoot a three, you're tripping. You're double scoop tripping. And, and the crazy thing is, like, I always say to myself, all right, I, I, pr- I pray on... Being a guy that, you know, want to facilitate, I still want to score. I want to always average a double-double when I play the game. But I also don't want somebody to bait me. I don't want somebody dropping 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 points on me at no Pro-Am. I don't want that. So I pride myself in being able to play at least a little bit of defense. Some people just rely on 2K saying, all right, I got auto contest. Okay, I'm a whole L2, and I'm going to try to stand in front of my man. And when he shoots, I'm going to be there. What? You mean to tell me you're going to be there with a 60 lateral quickness and no defensive stopper badge and on-ball defense in like the 30s to 70s? Really? You think you're pure sharp, guarding a pure sharp, and you think you're supposed to be clamping him with the same stats. Both y'all on ball defense trash. And y'all think y'all supposed to be clamping each other? What? Where? How? Who lied to y'all? You know what it is? And I'm going to just say it. Everybody that wants to argue in the comments about, oh, well, if you're open, you should be rewarded. Re- I can't even get the freaking word out. Rewarded? You want to be rewarded, fam? You don't want to be good at the game. You want to be rewarded for being open? My guy. It's crazy how people say, well, you just want to be rewarded for taking a bad shot selection and hitting a contested shot. Okay, you hype. You want to be rewarded for being wide open and not knowing your jump shot and and just be like, oh, 2K, please, I'm wide open. Let me hit. What? Listen to y'all. Just listen to what y'all be tweeting. Yeah, like run it back in your head. Like speak it into existence. You're tripping. You want the people that, that make this game to say, okay, he is wide open. Bam, popped up. That is a slightly late release. All net. Every time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? You wide open. You got one job. Pull the trigger. Get your timing right. If you wide open and you a sharp You should be greening like there's no tomorrow. Big bank. Take little bank. It should be nothing but greens if you wide open, if you're pure sharp, pulling from three. Why are you getting full bars? Why are you getting slightly early, slightly late? Why are you even getting good releases? If you're wide open, your timing should be there. What are you talking about? You're talking about people want to get bailed off for taking bad shot selections by hitting excellent shot selections by knowing their timing when they're contested, but you want to get bailed off for not knowing your timing when you're open? What? That, what? Just think about it. So if a person takes 10 shots, four of those are contested. He hits one out of four contested. We still got six shots left. Keep the math with yourself. You still got six open shots and you only hit three of those open shots. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Obviously, somebody needs to change their jump shot. Just because that person hit one out of four contested shots doesn't mean that, oh, he's getting bailed out for taking bad shots. My man just missed half his shots wide open. Let's talk about it. It's been plenty of times. Watch my streams. I stream on Facebook. I stream on YouTube. Watch these games that I play. I'm going up against pure sharps. They might go maybe six for 17 or something like that. You understand? They might go like, I would say four for like nine from three. Okay. 
That's not bad. But you had to work for that, though. You had to work around the 100 screens. You had to run reps, and you the point guard. Yes, I'm the point guard. So, obviously, you running around like a mad dog trying to get open. And I still made you shoot a bad shot selection. Still made you shoot a lot of shots to get your points. To me, I had a good game because, oh, I already know. I definitely had a dime and a dime or 20 and a dime or 30 and a dime. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing less than that. So, I'm just all I'm saying is, bro, People that argue about open versus contested and bad timing versus good timing, I believe that timing should always be there, period, point blank. I don't care where you're shooting from. If you're shooting from half court, bro, timing. You're shooting from the hash, timing. Shooting from the three, timing. Shooting from outside the foul line, timing. Shooting from in the paint, timing. Timing just has to be there. And I know what a lot of people are going to say. I'm about to slap another Twitter join up there. A lot of people about to say, bro, I don't need no layup timer. I don't need I don't need none of that. Okay, we had a layup timer in a previous game before this one that we're currently in gen now, right now. Now they're about to bring it all the way back because guess what? Bam. Y'all voted to keep timing in layups and bring the meter back. Y'all did this. This is all Mike Wang's Twitter. This ain't my Twitter. This is Mike Wayne's Twitter. This is the same people that try to come for me about it. Don't ma- it should, your time it shouldn't matter. It should matter if you open. Get open. You're trash. Get open. How about you get open and hit your shot by knowing your sh- your shot timing? How about that? How about those apples? Okay. So real quick, I just want to throw this on the screen because. I need everyone to completely understand what I'm about to say. These are all factuals coming from Mike Wayne. Shooting algorithm has been changed quite a bit for 19. Shot contest detection is more sensible now. Bigger bonus and bigger penalties for open versus contested as well as good versus bad timing. Excellent window is smaller, but gives bigger boosts. For example, shooting will be more skill based. He already tweeted this out August 10th. Already tweeted this out. Now, let's go to the next week. I got all factuals. Same day, Kia A. Marie said something to Mike Wang, and Mike Wang responded, no, you can't green heavily contested or some other shots. It's not a guaranteed miss, but they won't fall nearly as much, which means all those contested and some other shots that people were shooting at 18, they're about to be deaded. So all the arguments about, whoa, you ain't supposed to be getting bailed out by hand contested shots. Oh, my God. Even if I'm slightly late on defense, slightly contested should make you miss. What? Slightly contested should make me miss? Go get yourself a donut. Go sit down. <laughs> Let's get back to some more facts, man. This was so long ago. May 4th. He asked the question for 19. Do you think players should be allowed to use real player percentage? No shot timing in Park and Pro-Am. Guess what you guys voted? The same people that were on the post getting at me talking about it shouldn't be about shot timing. It should be about openness. Y'all all voted no. That we don't need real player percentage. We need shot timing in the game. This is what y'all voted. This is it. Y'all voted for shot timing. So now, all of a sudden, since he's bringing it to the forefront saying, bet, we about to do this shot timing gimmick, open versus contested versus bad versus good, y'all like, oh, no, no, don't bail everybody out. Oh, my God, this happened at 18. Everybody's getting bailed out with contested shots. He already said contested shots ain't falling, fam. Now we need to know, are you going to get with the times of learning your jump shot and knowing your jump shot or you want to get bailed out for being open, sir? Do you want to get rewarded? Yes, rewarded. This is the term that y'all been using on Twitter a lot for the last couple of days. Y'all want to be rewarded or not? Do you want to be rewarded for being open? Or do you want to know how to play the game? Do you want it to be skill-based? Or do you want it to be an arcade game where all you do is press square, he puts the shot up any way he wants, and it goes in? Literally, press the square button. Don't even have to worry about timing. Oh, it's going to go in. I'm wide open. What? Who? Where y'all come from? How old are y'all? You know what the problem is? Twitter nowadays don't got the egg no more. So sometimes I think I'm talking to a real person when I'm just talking to a, a person that has no common sense that doesn't even know how to add a profile pic to their Twitter. That's that's I think, I think that's the problem. You know what? With that being said, guys, 
I'm going to leave you with this. I still stand in the same spot that I stood when I answered Mike Wayne's tweet about openness versus the shot timing. Should shot timing even matter, whether you're open, contested, anything like that? I still stand in the same spot, and this is because I want this game to be skill-based. I Sometimes, I just don't want people thinking they could come to a game and thinking they could be great at it as soon as they get on the sticks. You know what I'm saying? I went to the 2K E-League, right? I went and seen Robert Ori, Brian Scalabrini, people that don't play 2K at all, get on the sticks and stank it up from shooting. Robert Ori literally stood in the corner, was left wide open the whole game. Because this game should be skill-based. You should know your release. You should know how to shoot. And yes, he had about two hours of practice. And they say he was lighting it up in practice. But when he got on stage, something happened. His palms got sweaty. He forgot his release. That's all I'm saying, dog. If you're wide open, you should still know your shot timing. If you're a contested and you're a, a elite shooter, I'm not saying everybody in a mom, bro. I'm not saying Andre Drummond builds. I'm not saying Giannis builds. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about them elite shooters, them real crazy builds that I don't make every year because I know that I don't want to be pigeonholed to running around the three-point line like this all day. I don't want that in my life. I want to be able to attack the basket. I want to be able to do a couple moving shots. I want to be able to shoot from the three, granted, when possible. But in all honesty, some contested shots have to go in. Even prayers. I'm not saying all net them. I'm not saying green releases. Because the green release, honestly, it confuses y'all, man. Y'all see these green releases and be like, heck no, he got a green release with that? Oh, that's crazy. I want that jump shot. And you'd be like, bro, that was a contested shot. His whole jump shot changed from his regular jump shot. But, oh, but it was green. Listen to yourselves. Y'all so stuck up on green releases that y'all think, oh, it's all about contested shots and getting bailed out. No, people just know they shot timing. And in 2K18, I can say shot timing was pretty okay, but it was just a window. The window that 2K didn't fix where contested shots didn't give much more of a, how could I say, any penalty for late contenders or people that was in other people's faces because of having pure, sharp, and limitless range and dead eye and all that. They just didn't get the window right. So if they get the window right and people have to learn their jump shots, instead of people hitting three out of five contested shots, I would, I would, I would be cool with one for 10. I would be cool with that. You know what I'm saying? One out of 10 shots contested, I'll be fine with that. But let's just know, I only want to see contested shots hit when that player's like maybe on fire. I don't want to see, we come down on the first play and my man shoot it up and it was contested and he make it. I'm not saying I want to see that. I want to see if a dude hot, he got 25 on Pro-Am and this is the third quarter. You know what I'm saying? No, not even the third quarter. He got 25 in the second. Let's do it like that. 25 in a second, fire emoji. He might hit a contested shot. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, with this new takeover system, you might see a couple more of those things. You know what I'm saying? Of those instances happen, maybe instead of one for ten contested, maybe it'll be one out of five if they get their takeover badge. You know what I mean? You guys have to be realistic with yourselves, man. Don't say you want to be rewarded just for being open. You know what I'm saying? That's just like me saying, all right, I'm about to go into Pro-Am, and on the other team, I see one of my homies, and I'll be like, yo, that, oh, that's one of the homies. All right, well, I'm going to do what I do, but I'm going to let him score. You know what I'm saying? And you just stand there with the sticks, like not even playing defense, like la da 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 while he takes open shots and he hits every one because you want to be rewarded for being open. That's crazy. Just imagine me go to the park, right? And I go to the park with the homies, and I'll be like, yo, I'm about to throw this game. And you can literally say, I'm going to throw this game because you can leave somebody wide open and they hit every single shot because you might be, you know, beefing with the people you playing with or you might not want to be playing no more. So you just AFK for a little bit every time they on offense and you just let this dude score every single time because he's being rewarded for being open. That don't make no sense. Let people know their shot timing, fam. And I know I know, I ranted a long time and I'm sorry, but you know what, man? Like I said in the beginning of this video, man, know your shot, fam. I'll holla at y'all. Peace.
All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.